Tick reversal 2023 was the trade of the day, getting in right out the lows of the day, hitting its profit target up on the day, taking the short trade. Today was a day to short the gap up. Market moved higher overnight, trying to take out yesterday's highs. After selling off, the market was propped up yesterday. We see that sell off, prop up, usually get a gap down. We got a gap up instead, and then the market went to where it was trying to go yesterday, today. And so let's look at the results on the day. So after three losing days in a row, we had an up day today, plus 16.10, and the end of day drawdown is still 51.80. We were close to getting in intraday, um, we did not, so we are still waiting for a drawdown. And so this month is just characterized by small winning days, small losing days, beginning of the month. And so let me show you something from last month. Here are the daily P&Ls we're used to seeing. They are more in the five-figure range. You can see historically, um, you know, going back to December plus five-figure days, you see negative five figure days in here and so uh, minus 15,000 there plus 14,000 plus 11,000 and you can see the daily P&Ls are a lot smaller and so the market is not as volatile you see a five figure winner and then a five figure loser there and so it's been interesting because we're used to these cycles where you get a, a wild price action and then you get um, you know then you get on a winning streak but we're just kind of you know, going really slow here this month with some small gains and then some. This is just through the sixth, and so this does not include uh, the last three days of trading. Let's see, seventh, eighth were losers, and then the ninth today was a small winner. So we're still looking to phase in. We've almost done that a couple of times. We want to stick with our plan to to work these drawdowns, and so that is what that is what I am looking at here. On this setup, and so the mar this market is a little different this month. It's just not the same. It doesn't have the same intensity of the moves. Um, more range bound, less volatile in the account. And so let's go to the trades on the day. There was a long winner on Viper, and then three short winners. It was up on the day by 500. AT2020 down on the day minus 725. Tick pullback. It was also uh, down on the day. Took the long trade up here, stopped out as the market rolled over. Both tick reversals were um, up on the day, and so this is the tick. This is tick reversal, the older version we were traded. It's at equity peaks as well. So tick reversal 20, tick reversal, the old tick reversal from 2022, and then tick reversal 2023 are really the big winners on the month. Uh, most of the other strategies are kind of well. Viper is Viper is doing well also. Uh, went on a very hot streak and then had a drawdown, so it's a good time maybe to get in on Viper. And let's see, EVP1, it had another losing day. It, was, it had this huge day right here, and then it's pulled back since. Might be a good time to start EVP1 if we're looking at individual systems, Viper, and then EVP1. Um, you know, strategies like tick reversal, they're due for a little bit of a drawdown. Cause this has gone straight up here. Doesn't usually go this. Doesn't usually go straight up like this. And you know this is you know straight up as well. And then Viper was on a hot streak. It's pulled back. EVP one on a pretty good streak. It pulled back. Started to go and then to pull back. And so EVP one and Viper could be two strategies that would take off in this market. Um, could be some system rotation. ES only one strategy traded. Tick fader. Small gain here on the short side, plus 375. So once again, these are the trades on the day. Rather dull and lackluster market. We are not trading live yet. We're waiting for that drawdown. Have come close a couple of times. We're sticking to it. It's hard to wait. I like to be in the market. And so we're working on it. And also working on the uh, portfolio money management algorithms that I've talked about before. I continue to work on that. And hopefully have some more videos on that soon to show you what the latest is on that. So once again, trades on the day for Thursday, February the 9th, 2023. We will update. Uh, last trading day is tomorrow. Last trading day of the week is tomorrow. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks, as well as market updates.
strategies and coding tips.